Welcome to Real Estate Coaching Radio, starring award-winning real estate coaches and number one international best-selling authors, Tim and Julie Harris. Real Estate Coaching Radio is the nation's number one daily radio show for realtors who demand authentic real-time coaching. Get ready for fluff-free, unfiltered, full-strength honesty about what's truly working to get you into action, helping others, and making money now in today's real estate market. Now to our hosts, Tim and Julie Harris. Three, two, one. Hey, we are back. We have a really, really badass podcast for you guys today. We have um, found what we believe to be some of the happiest feel-good news <laughs> <laughs> that we've been able to share About time. in months. And we are so thrilled about it because the uh, real estate markets are coming back. And then we get this really amazing report about new unemployment claims. Everyone was expecting it to spike even higher and just the exact opposite happened. Why don't you get to that story right away? Yes. And the reality of it is, is what we're seeing is the resilience, which we've been all hoping and praying for, I know, of the American economy and the American people. And that's what we're going to start experiencing. Now, obviously, there's still lots of headwinds. There's still 40 million people without jobs. There's still lots of businesses that are struggling and there's no cure, you know, all the rest of it. All those things are still true. But in the meantime, it looks like the economy is fighting back. And the way that that translates to you is that you have to be front and center and you have to be in urgent action. So our podcast today does have a slight agenda and it's about getting you guys in urgent action. So we're going to read you some headlines and then we're going to be getting into the weeds with regards to what you should be doing for the next 90 days every single day to make the most of this uh, real estate boom and in, in this economy that's you know fighting its way back. Because the reality of it is, is none of us have crystal balls. Nobody knows what's going to happen in fourth quarter into next year. We did share a report with you guys yesterday that CoreLogic is reporting the first, well, the third time in U.S. history they're expecting 2021 to see a, a sort. Essentially, I don't even know how to say it because I don't, I can't even conceptualize it being true to be honest with you. So I struggle with the words. But what they're saying is that there's going to be a drop in all real estate values, which right doesn't even make sense. But that's what they said by a little bit less than. 2% going into 2021. So let's assume that they're they're correct at some varying degree because there will be still high unemployment. There still will be lots and lots of headwinds. The mortgage forbearances will have run their course. A lot of the you know financial lifelines that people have been leveraging will have run its course. And so what we'll see is first quarter of next year, if not for, fourth quarter of this year, we're going to see exactly uh, what we have to deal with going into the future. Um, the I think the most conservative or I'd say the most optimistic ec- econ- economic reports that we've been reading are definitely expecting there to be a three to five year um, recession of some variety. Now, I always like to remind myself that not all of you guys are daily listeners. Some of you listen to us uh, just now and then. Most of you listen to us every single day. So here's what I want you to never forget. No matter what direction the market's going, no matter what direction interest rates are going, no matter who the president is, no matter, I mean, all the silly things that sometimes we talk about on this podcast, like the aliens visiting or, (laughs) you know, all the wackadoodle stuff that we try to entertain you guys with on occasion, no matter what's going on in the world, okay, there will always be people that need to buy and sell real estate. And you, I mean, there's no exception. You always will have a housing payment, right? Even, you know, all the time, you could argue even after you've passed away, you'll still have to be housed somewhere. So I know that's kind of morbid, but just kind of a, you know, maybe a bad joke. But the reality of it is, is that humans always have a housing payment. And you're always going to have a lease. You're always going to yeah, have Even a, if your house is paid off, you still have property taxes to pay and HOA and insurance right. and all the rest. Well, the more what we're trying to tell you is you're selling something that everybody needs. Yes. That's what the point was. And, and you can't be laid off. You can't be furloughed. I mean, sure, if you really do a poor job, a seller can fire you. But you don't have somebody saying, sorry, there's no more real estate to sell. So no matter what happens in the overall economy, it won't matter because you are you were smart enough to get a real estate license. You are smart enough to get a real estate license at this time in the market, at this time in the cycle of what we're seeing in our economy. And all these changes that are going to be occurring are going to create more opportunity, not less opportunity for you. Now, that's more opportunity for you provided you're actually in action and massive action and you're learning what the new market's going to demand. If you're sitting around and waiting, which is the plague that most of you are still suffering from, not the pandemic, not the coronavirus, but you're still suffering from the plague of sitting around and waiting. 
If you do that for maybe even two seconds longer, you are going to needlessly suffer for the rest of the year into the future because you're going to be having to play catch up. You're going to be working against the market. You're going to be working against your own personal economy. So what we beg all of you to do is listen to what we're telling you, get into massive action now, and that way towards the end of the year, you have momentum going into next year. So Julie, let's let's review yes. and discuss some of the headlines. That's right. Again, it seems to be turning the bend. Of course, we've got to keep all these numbers a little bit of a grain of salt. This is not just an instant turnaround, but this is good news. May sees biggest job in, jobs increase ever of two and a half million new jobs or returning jobs as the economy starts to recover from the coronavirus. Non-farm payrolls rose by two and a half million in May and the unemployment rate fell to 13.3%. Now, this is good news because we're going to now compare it to what they thought was going to happen. Tim, to your point, nobody's got a crystal ball. Here's what they thought would happen. Wall Street estimates had been for a decline of 8.3 million and a jobless level of 19.5%, which would have been the worst since the Great Depression era. But again, Instead of declining by 8.3 million, we rose by 2.5 million. Instead of being at 19.5% unemployment, it fell to 13.3%, which is still bad, but certainly not as bad as almost 20%. Much, much of the gain came from those classified as temporary layoffs due to the coronavirus related economic shutdown. Leisure and hospitality represented almost half of the jobs gained. And, you know, I, I've been noticing, Tim, we can tell just looking out our window, right? Because we live half hour from the San Juan International Airport and, and for a couple of months, we'd see like one or two planes and they were almost always UPS or Amazon. Now that, that traffic, people are traveling more, hotels are opening up, restaurants are opening up, maybe not at the level that they were, but they're certainly adding jobs and bringing people back. So this is great news. And uh, there's actually more stories I sent to you. There's yes. a couple others. So really what we're seeing is we're seeing this essentially, right, that one's a good one too. Well, let's get to that one. There was another one I sent you in addition to that one uh, well, that I sent you after that one. So just go back to your right. chat and, and the, there, it's right right there. What's that one? The vaccine one. Oh, yeah. Let's do this one. Okay. Now here's another cool one. So the biggest headwinds to the economy the, are essentially the biggest is the coronavirus. Uh, you know, all this in it. Obviously, a lot of this stuff is scary and unknown, and we don't have crystal balls. Um, but here's what it is, is that as long as there's not a vaccine or some sort of therapy for the coronavirus, there's a lot of businesses that are never going to be able to go back into essentially a functional, profitable business. Everyone talks about restaurants, but it's more than just restaurants. There's, you know, really, literally every kind of business is going to be adversely affected by this. So, and if there's government rules that are in place or state rules that are in place that are saying you have to socially distance and you have to have this, that, the other thing, that basically is going to kill a lot of businesses just flat out. Well, just not... the capacity rules. You know, if you're exactly. only allowed to operate at 25%, you're not going to be as profitable as you were at 100%. just makes sense. So, you know, then the next big thing is going to be the economic ramifications of this 8 to $12 trillion and the money still coming that's being pumped into the economy. But the first thing that we have to figure out is how we're going to collect collectively agree to deal with the coronavirus if there is a, you know, a comeback of it or if there's, you know, hot spots or whatever the, you know, <laughs> whatever they're going to call it, whatever happens, we have to all be universally in agreement because if we're not and if, if you know, some, you know, New York City, let's say, is all of a sudden locked down again and Boston is open, I mean, that's going to create just a, a big, really crazy mess. Or maybe the country will decide to go the route of Sweden and just say herb, herd immunity and let's just see how that all works out. Who knows? I don't know. It's not my job to know. But here's what I do know. Julie. Yes. Okay. So here's more good news. Trump says U.S. has 2 million coronavirus vaccine doses, quote, ready to go. Now, what does that really mean? Of course, once scientists figure out whether it's safe and effective, but tremendous progress is being made on vaccines. Uh, let's see. They have The Trump administration has selected five companies as the most likely candidates to produce a vaccine for the virus, according to the New York Times. He didn't say Friday which ones have started the production, but the National Institutes of Health have been uh, fast-tracking the work with biotech firm Moderna, for example, on a potential vaccine to prevent uh, COVID-19. And there's several others underway. So the thought is that uh, the vaccine will be happen happening in the first half of 2021, if not sooner. So I also read this morning, and I don't think I sent this article to you, mm -hmm. that it's either in Germany or someplace over in Europe. Mm -hmm. They actually have 300 people in clinical trials right now testing either yes. that vaccine or another one. Yeah, so, so here's awesome. Remember, Julie and I were just sort of fantasizing that this actually might be remembered as the year of miracles, 
Well, I have news for you guys. If just those first two headlines that Julie read to you (laughs) plays out, this will be the year of miracles. This will be the year that we'll all remember could have been the precipice could have been the precipice for all the meaningful ways, and we all unified and we all essentially fought back. And what in a our, story that'll be, right? Right. So this actually could turn out to be the year of miracles, not the year of some sort of you know long term ever increase. So if they come up with a vaccine, if they actually do that this year, that's never happened before where there was a vaccine for something uh, that quick. Now there'll be people that are questioning the you know was the va- is the vaccine going to last or who cares because what it's going to do is it's going to give businesses oh. permission and people uh, permission to be back in business to actually say hey guess what you can open up your business and you don't have to basically make people stand six feet apart and all the rest of this. So there it is and that will be a return to whatever the new normal is, it's not going to be like the old normal. It's going to be, in my opinion, in Julie and I's opinion, it's going to be the new normal. There will be some re, you know, settling of the dust. There will be a lot of businesses that have to retool. There'll be a lot of people that have to sort of you know, re-evalu- reevaluate how they've been living and their interaction with just you know, daily life. How many of you are going to come out of this you know, just the past three months of being in quarantine. How many of you are going to go back or want to go back even to living the exact way that you were before? Julie, do you? No. <laughs> yeah, did I? Mean, on many levels, no. And, yeah. and, but, you know, that's okay. And I think a lot of people are more okay with that now than, say, 60 days ago or when we that's first right. had all of this, you know, what the heck's going to happen next feeling. It was the faces of grief um, thing that you and I introduced yeah, I back so. in, you know, March or whatever. Mm-hmm. We started telling everyone that there's faces of grief that everyone has sure. to go through. But it is, it's kind of magical, truthfully, from mm-hmm. our you know perspective, mm-hmm. to talk to so many amazing agents and sure. coaching clients and just to be on other people's podcast. It is. And, and you remember 60 days ago when there was all this fear and loathing and all this denial mm-hmm. and all this. And now people sort of collectively have gone through the different phases of grief. Yeah. And now they're, they're on the other side of acceptance. And on the other side of acceptance is where the magic is. And that's where we need all of you to be urgently. Do you have any other headlines? Yeah, there's some really great news that affects almost all of our listeners at least the ones that took advantage of this. Uh, Trump has signed a bill to ease guidelines on the coronavirus relief loans for small businesses. So for example, here are the five bullet points. The bill cut, again, this has been signed. This is the real deal. We reported last week they were thinking about it. Now it's come to fruition. The bill cuts the share of aid re- of aid recipients need to use on payroll to 60%. It used to be 75%. It allows the businesses to use the money for up to six months instead of just eight weeks. It extends the June 30th deadline for companies to rehire employees. It gives loan recipients a longer period of time to repay the loans, and it does let companies receiving loan forgiveness to defer payroll taxes. So this is definitely a step in the right direction. It is, uh, somebody said, it's harder to read what you're supposed to do with the money than it was to get the money in the first place. You know, nobody was trained on that. There was no, you know, follow these three guidelines and you're set. Just just reading the rules takes hours. And the banks, by the way, uh, were are lobbying um, the government essentially to make it so that all the what were the PPP loans, right? Yeah, all the PPP loans for less than one hundred and fifty grand yeah. are automatically turned into grants, and you don't have to fill out the paperwork. And I hope that happens. I, I bet it will, but you know they've got to argue about it for a couple of weeks and then vote on it. All right, so let's drill down. Do you have any other headlines? Um, let's see. You had sent me. Potential more stimulus, you know, I I don't know how this will be affected by the better jobs report, but um, they're talking about stimulus 4.0 to stimulate hiring, to stimulate investing, spending. um, And they there's actually four different proposals for this, one of which is a payment. There's so much in this article. I know it's crazy. Um, One of them. One of these was to send uh, more stimulus checks and up to, for a married couple, I think it was up to 4000 a month for up to 12 months, single people, 2000 a month for 12 months. Um, th- there's several different proposals on this. So I would expect, again, in a couple of weeks for something to come together on this. Um, looking for any other salient no, it's, points, but that's basically it. Yeah. So what was what's going to happen is what we told you guys would happen back in March. There's going to be a never-ending stimulus. We don't think it's ever going to stop at this point. It's going to become more, I think, complicated to obtain. We also warned you guys about that. We told you back in March when we learned about the SBA programs that were rolling out, we knew they would become more bureaucratic, and we told you to urgently take advantage of the programs, and we salute the thousands of you that did it. For those of you who did not do it yet, 
And of those of you who want to know about all the lifelines that are still available to you as a 1099 or a W-2, it does not matter. Every single one of you must be uh, hoping for the best. You can hope until the cows come home and that's great, but you have to be prepared for the worst. So let's assume that what we are expecting to have happen and what, you know, CoreLogic and all these other companies are saying, it wasn't CoreLogic, was it? It was. It was. What they're expecting to happen in the economy next year is true. Let's say those things are all true. And let's say once these forbearances run out, then you're going to start seeing an uptick in all the distress stuff. All these things, let's just say that's what happens. But here's what I want you to know. You will survive. You will thrive. But the first thing you have to do is you have to protect your, your personal cash flow. We want all of you to urgently take full advantage of all the government programs. We are just talking about the PPP. If you don't know what that is, it's the Paycheck Protection Program. You, in essence, we're not experts at this. We're not attorneys. We're not accountants. But this is the essence of how we understand it. You take an average of your two of your uh, your last tax year. For most of you, it'll be 2018, and you multiply it by 2.5, and then you will get a loan from the SBA uh, for that amount of money. And then, after, if you use the money as it's supposed to be used, which is basically mostly normal business things, then you won't have to pay the loan back. It converts to a grant, so it is literally free money if you follow the rules. And for some of you, that's going to be uh, an absolute lifeline because you haven't had any closings in the past couple months. So take full advantage of that. I will say this again. I know you guys are not necessarily hearing me because it's kind of crazy to believe. This is for 1099 or W-2. You don't have to have been an employee to get this. We tell you on, we're also, by the way, this information I'm telling you with all the drill down is available to you when you join our free coaching program. Just text the word survival to 31996. Text the word survival to 31996 and you're going to be texted back a link to join our free coaching program. Within the free coaching program, we're also going to tell you about the mortgage forbearances. We're also going to tell you how to get the Enhanced CARES Act unemployment. Some of you might want to go that route. We're going to tell you how to get the EIDL loan. The EIDL loan is another SBA program that most, if not all of you, should be taking advantage of. Most people that we know, coaching clients, were able to receive EIDL loans for $150,000. Now, again, not accountants, not attorneys. You have to decide if that's the best move for you. But in the meantime, at least jump on to the free coaching program so you can understand how you can leverage these programs to make it so that you will not have to worry about finances if the predictions are correct that towards the end of the year, the markets are going to noticeably change. Because remember, markets normally slow down around the holidays anyway, and now we're supposedly going to have economic headwinds. You want to be over-prepared. Please listen to your coaches or your future coaches, if that's what we are to you. And please do take immediate action on this. And the other thing that you learn in this coaching program is exactly what you must be doing day by day. And we're going to give you our 90-day massive action plan. There's so much we give you as part of this free coaching program. You definitely want to take advantage of it now. Just text the word survival to 31996. And to be clear, this is a whisper of the coaching program that our normal coaching clients get. This is a free version of the uh, normal program called Premier Coaching. It is not nearly as comprehensive as our normal coaching program, but it's enough to give all of you a head start on learning what the new market's going to demand. So while you're thinking about it, do it now. Text the word survival to 31996. You That's found right. something? Uh, well, yes. So here's a, a couple of things. One of the reasons to text the word survival to 31996 is it's not just about these programs, but you know, all of this rolled out so quickly, there's a lot of hacks, so to speak, for lack of a better word, that we give to you guys. For example, if you just go to the SBA website, it looks like they're only doing PPP for agricultural loans because right. that's their prevailing link right now. They change the website every two to three weeks. And you would think, well, I'm not running a farm. I guess they ran out of money. No, we give you the right link, the right application. We explain how you're going to take advantage of this. So the other interesting thing about this potential new stimulus is that they are proposing uh, bringing back the mortgage uh, deduction, the mortgage interest deduction. So uh, let's see, it says eliminating the deduction for interest on home equity loans and on newer mortgages over 750000 might have been appropriate in 2017, but not now. If stimulus is what we want, we should enable and encourage more responsible debt finance spending by those who have sufficient assets to back up their debts. So there, there are several things that are kind of getting embedded into these proposals. So we'll want to watch for that. That's something that you guys can talk about with your prospects and clients. And let's see, I think that's that's pretty much all the really You want to hear something crazy? Right yeah. We literally just got an email from our accountant 
uh-huh. talking about the exact thing that we were just talking about. <laughs> That's funny. Seriously. How crazy is that? Yeah. I'm going to send this to you. Let's put this on the website. Yep. So all this information that we're talking about is on the free coaching site. And all you have to do is text the word survival to 31996. Okay. Any other headlines, dear? I think we're all out for all right. now. No new alien reports. No new attack <laughs> bugs. Uh, I think we're good. Nothing to talk about to, to make you guys think we're crazy. We like doing that occasionally. We have to, to give you a break now and then. Right. We, so we, we share wackadoodle stories with each other. Um, okay, so listen, here's what, here's the action item that all of you need to be doing. The 90-day massive action plan. I, Julie, let's drill yeah. down with me here. Yes. Um, if I know some of you, and because we've been doing podcasts for other people, we've been doing, you and I, Julie and I have been, we've got, I don't even know what it's called, some sort of Zoom tunnel vision, right? We're so yeah. used to staring at a green light on Perpetual our Macs. Perpetual Zoom. Right, exactly. Perpetual Zoom. We might be on a Zoom now and we just forgot, or supposed to be on one we just Probably. forgot. But here's the thing I'm hearing from everybody. You, so many of you are waiting around. You're not doing massive action. You're making the biggest mistake potentially of your life by not making the most of this real estate boom. You're making a huge mistake waiting around for their shoe to drop. You are stuck in, a, in this sort of, you know, what is it? The upside down, right? Mm-hmm. Where you're not sure where to go. You know, do I go forward? Do I go back? What am I supposed to do? And some of you are just waiting for some sort of like, you know, proclamation from some sort of entity and just to you know, say, this is exact. No, stop waiting. You're screwing around. You are absolutely going to pay the price thinking that somebody other than yourself is going to save your bacon. There, look, the government lifelines are fantastic. That's, and we're encouraging all of you to at least seriously consider doing them. But beyond that, you have got to take care of yourself. You've got to get into action. Part of the, um, you know, the free coaching program is a 90-day massive action plan. Julie created it, but I'll give you, a, you know, essentially an overview. It's going to tell you exactly what you should be doing for the next 90 days. So many of you are doing nothing or not doing the right things right now. And so I'm going to start out by three things you must stop doing urgently. Number one, and I know the first one's going to cause some of you some consternation, but just bear with me. I strongly encourage all of you to go media free urgently. What by media free, I literally mean stop reading the news, stop watching the news, purge yourself as if you were trying to, you know, detox from, you know, caffeine or alcohol or whatever. Purge yourself, detox from media. You've got to do it. It's too confusing. And the problem is, is it makes you feel vulnerable. It makes you feel fearful. It makes you feel weak. And when you feel like that, you're not going to do anything to protect yourself because you're going to be too scared. Your, 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 your brain is going to be in a place that's not going to be receptive to you taking massive action. So the first thing that you must do is go completely media free. Julie and I, believe it or not, are completely media free. We do pick up from different, you know, static, right, just from being alive. We do pick up what's going on in the world, but we absolutely do not watch Fox News. We do not watch MSNBC. We do not watch CNN. We do not watch any of that stuff because it does not do anything positive for our mindsets and also for our ability to do our jobs. And I would strongly encourage all of you to go media free. It's going to be hard for some of you because you've become addicted to the news. You become addicted to the drama. Psychologically, it actually releases a little chemical in your brain when you hear bad news. And by the way, we're all wired to look for bad news. We're not wired to look for good news. By Here's what it means specifically. You were designed, your, you know, you version 1.0, right? All the software we were born with, basically, is designed to be essentially in a mode of looking for things that can hurt you, right? Right. So what you're looking at when you're, when you're seeking bad news is you're looking for things that might hurt you. And so that's the ultimate reason why people seek out bad news. People don't seek out good news because we're not designed to look for good news. We're designed to look for bad news. You know, obviously, if you're living back in some uh, olden times where essentially people were vulnerable to different plagues or roving, you know, gangs of, you know, murderers or whatever it was, right? Dinosaurs, who knows? Pick pick your own, you know, version of craziness. Well, then, yeah, it would be nice that if you lived in around a group of people, if they said, hey, don't go that way because there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex that's taking a nap and when it wakes up, it likes to have humans, right? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be funny, but you guys get the point. But understand, because we are all born with that, um, you know, proclivity to look for bad news, it works against you because of how your brain physically reacts 
to the uh, to the receiving of the bad news. It causes you to generally speak generally speaking, it causes you to become small and to become more fearful. So that's the first thing that you have to do is purge yourself of all bad news urgently. And but the best way to do that is go media free. Next thing we want you to do is we want you to remember these three things because these are the only three things in life you can truly control: physical, environment, and financial. This weekend, we want you to go and do a massive purge of your physical environment. Get rid of old clothes. Get rid of old worn out shoes. Get rid of all, anything and everything in your life that is no longer necessary. Donate it. Get rid of it. Throw it out. Doesn't matter. Just get it out of your environment. Your environment is one of the most critical things that you have massive control over. It, look, if you need new, you know, whatever for your house, buy new stuff. If you want a new house, buy a new house. Move to a new place. Control your environment. It is incredibly important because psychologically, if your environment around you is in mayhem, your mind will also resemble that. In your, by the way, your environment is a direct mirror of what you're thinking and what you're feeling. So if you live in a very orderly, I mean, just think about this. It's so obvious, right? If you meet somebody or you go on a listing appointment and their house is very orderly and everything is neat and clean, you can pretty much surmise that that person probably has all aspects of their life that are in control that are also organized and neat and clean. And the opposite is exactly true as well. So what does your environment look like? Number two, you can control what you do with your body. You can control what you consume. You can control the exercise that you uh, actually do. You do not have to go crazy. Look, there was an interesting article, Julie, that came out yesterday about mm -hmm. Levi saying that <laughs> most people, like Levi's yeah. jeans, people are returning to Levi's stores to essentially buy jeans. And Levi said most everyone is sizing up because most people have gained at least 15 to 19 pounds. Well, they call that the COVID-19. The COVID-19, right? exactly. But it's not yeah. a joke. I mean, no, people... it's real. I mean, I've had coaching clients tell me that that's one of their uh, specific goals is to lose. So most of them, it's, you know, five to 10 pounds. But still, you know, being sedentary for 60 days is catching up to people. Fast. Really fast. <laughs> I mean, it's great for Levi's, but maybe not for everyone else. Yeah, I know, but isn't that funny? It is. So so as far as the, the, you can control what you can eat, you know how to, you, we've talked about health before. Do your own homework on it. We are not exercise physiologists or anything like that or doctors, but do study low carb. Do study just doing a minimum amount. Look, if you can only walk or run or do anything for 15 minutes a day, do it for 15 minutes a day. And But you can control that is the point. You can control what you eat. You can control what you put in your face. You can control the exercise you put forth. You are in control of that. And the third thing is your finances. Now, you might be a little out of control with your finances right now. That's the reason we want you to join the free coaching program and learn about those free government uh, lifeline programs because then you'll have some resemblance of control. You see what we're doing here? We're wanting you to realize that you do have the ability to control what you think and what you feel. You do have the ability to control your mindset. And the third thing we want all of you guys to do is we want you to get into the massive action and uh, start employing that 90-day uh, massive action plan now. That is going to, once you do those first things, you're media free, you've consciously decided you're going to control your environment, your physical, you know, situation and your money. And the third thing you have to do is you have to get into massive action. What's massive action, Tim? I'm going to tell you what it's not. Number one, it's not trying to be creative. Do not waste time trying to be creative right now. Don't waste time on your logo, on your brand. All those things may have a place in your business eventually. But right now, the massive action has to be centered around helping people and making money. That is job number one. We do not have any assurances that the end of this year is going to be anything other than a hell of a lot harder than it is now. Guaranteed. So do whatever it takes to help as many people and make as much money as you can right now. Yeah, if it helps you to visualize being either at the very end of the year or maybe Christmas Eve and looking back at yourself and being able to say, thank you, past fill in your name. Thank you, past Bob. Thank you, past Jeanette, for actually getting it together with a 90-day massive action plan as we were getting out of the what probably will be the first round of this whole virus lockdown business. Because it's an election year, we still have high unemployment. Yes, we're cautiously optimistic. We brought you a lot of good news today. But you also have to plan and protect yourself from the uncertainty of third and fourth quarter, not to mention next year. All right, so the 90-day massive action plan, how do you get it? It is free. All you have to do is text the word survival to 31996. You then will be texted back a link to join the site. 
You're going to have to register for the site. It does not take very long. The next step after that is you have to then uh, basically log into the website. You're then going to go to the section where the Ultimate Agent Survival Guide is, and you're going to see what we have created for all of you. Please do not wait in doing this. No more waiting around. No more hoping you know, that there's going to be more bailouts. All those things will or won't come. But in the meantime, you have to take care of yourself. You don't know what to do. I just told you what to do. I've given you specific directions on how you can take massive action now. The massive action plan will tell you exactly what you're supposed to be doing every single day for the next 90 days. And by the way, some of you have been on the massive action plan who joined our free coaching program or our normal coaching program 60 to 90 days ago. And so here's a thought for you. you you're going to come to your end your 90 days of the massive action plan. Here's what we want you to do. Do it again and keep doing it because the 90 day massive action plan keeps you focused on the things that are going to make the money for you the quickest. And that's what matters now, being of service to other people and making money, as frankly, as much money and as quickly as you can. Julie, anything else you'd like to say to these guys as we round up? No, absolutely get to action. We have had we have proven many coaching clients using that 90-day massive action plan. You know, we have a longer business plan called the treasure map, but so many of them really like taking this in bite-sized pieces where they can control the next 90 days, you've got business in front of you. All of you guys have leads. All of you have transactions you're working on. So make hay while the sun shines. That's what the 90 day plan is all about. And then lather, rinse, repeat. Thank you for continuing to make this the number one listen to daily podcast for real estate agents in the United States, but maybe the world. We have literally tens of thousands of you that listen to us every single month. We're rounding the bend on having over 8 million uh, downloads. We get very few streams, but mostly downloads, which is fantastic. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys are sharing our podcast with other people. You're helping us get the word out that no matter what comes next, agents that have the skill set to thrive will be the ones that basically control the real estate markets going forward. Have an open mind, have an open heart to the, all the hardship that a lot of people are experiencing, but you do not have to participate. Stay in your own three-foot world. Put those three things in place where you're controlling your environment, your finances, and your physicality, and, and absolutely pull the trigger on the free coaching program and get to work on the 90-day massive action plan. If you need us for anything, you can always reach out. You can text me directly. 512-758-0206. In the meantime, do text the word survival to 31996. Have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you show on the show tomorrow or anytime um, by texting, right? And of course, you can communicate with us through all the social channels. And the past podcasts are all live waiting for you on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Spotify, and all the other you know podcast listening widgets. You guys have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you on the show anytime. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris, Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.